Come on, Zach. Oh man, build I, I can't. I think there's a lot of them I love to play again. I, um, uh, yeah, there's no. He's not going to say high school no. music. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin McDaniel, and this week on Pride, I sat down with the cast of A Family Affair, a new rom-com coming to Netflix, starring Nicole Kidman, Zac Efron, Joey King, and Kathy Bates. Let's dive in. When Zara, played by Joey King, quits as the personal assistant to Hollywood heartthrob Chris Cole, portrayed by the one and only Zac Efron, it sparks an unexpected romance between Chris and Zara's famous writer mom, Brooke, brought to life by Nicole Kidman. I mean, how would you react if your mom started dating your boss? Will Brooke and Chris end up together? You're just going to have to watch to find out. But how did this story come to be? Here's director Richard Legravenez to tell us more. Well, at the time, I was um, I was coming out for the first, well, not for the, actually for the second time, but I was coming out. Um, and I had a new life, I had a new, a sort of a second chance at being myself for the first time in my adult life and i saw the nicole character as also going through that part in her life um, and i think it's true for those of us that are our age you get a chance to uh ref see who you are and say okay i've been a lot of things for other people i've survived i've succeeded i've done all these things i said i was going to do but who am i really and, and what was I that I forgot I was? What did I forget that I wanted? Or what, I've been, what have I been hiding and not feeling? And um, I, I felt that the Nicole character could resonate in those, in those terms. Absolutely. And I mean, she plays the role so beautifully. beautifully. I love her and Zach as well. Yeah. Was that a dream come true for you or just like a happy coincidence? No, it was happens? a dream come true. Their chemistry, uh, they all of them, they all had amazing chemistry with, with each other. But Zach and Nicole, uh, from the very first day we started rehearsals, um, just uh, were like old friends and they just fell into each other like a warm blanket. <laughs> this isn't the first rodeo for Zach Efron and Nicole Kidman. They teamed up in The Paperboy back in 2012, and when this new project came along, they were all in to rekindle that on-screen magic. We were talking before we signed on, and we signed on sort of together. It was just, if you do it, I'll do it sort of thing, because I think it is about the chemistry, and I feel really comfortable with Zach, and I was like, okay, and I knew that Joey was going to do it, but I didn't know Joey yet. Um, but I knew she was really funny, so I was like, okay, I need someone that's going to carry me through this. And along came my knight in shining. And the feeling is so mutual. It was like <laughs> she she called me and was like, if you're in, I'm yeah. in. And that's how we started, and it was great. We also have had some experience falling yeah. in love on camera in the past, yeah. and it was great. We so got to pick back. up where we And doing <laughs> wild scenes in Paperboy. I think gave us the ease now to be like, yeah, try this, put your hand here, come on. Yeah, this so was kind of we easy, like, you know, like, yeah. very easy. <laughs> yes. So compared to what we did in that, yeah. movie, that was a crazy Yeah, job. <laughs> So that's good. And it's so nice yeah. coming back together, but in something totally different. Zach also shares the screen with the talented Joey King, whom you might know from Kissing Booth, Bullet Train, and The Act. And just like us, she's a huge fan of Zac Efron. I mean, you know, when you work with someone like Zach, I've been a fan of Zach since I was a young girl and I was obsessed. <laughs> I was obsessed with him, like truly obsessed. And when you have this conceptual idea of someone for so long, meeting them seems like this impossible thing that could never happen. And so getting to meet Zach and uh, get to know him was so surprising in itself because he was just so wonderful mm -hmm. and so funny and so, he's you know, funny. he's just like a funny little weirdo dorky guy at heart. And I love that about him. Um, I just think he's got, he's really caring. He's really sweet. There's been so many times where he like randomly like do something for me and think of me in a way that I would have never expected. And I was like, that was so thoughtful. And he was like, yeah, whatever. Like, <laughs> and I just think that. he's like a, he's just like a funny guy. He's just so sweet. He really is. Oh, amazing. I I called him the improv king today and I don't think he, he likes that. No, no, no. I think he probably yeah. loved it. He I think loved he, it. he doesn't know how to take compliments. He loved it. He doesn't know how to take He's humble. Compliment. He's humble. Yeah, he was yeah. like, no, that's not me. Yeah, he doesn't know how to take, shield. he doesn't know how to take a compliment, but he is the improv king. He is so funny in this movie. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not the improv king. No, I I've heard it multiple times today. <laughs> oh, God. Um, it's, yeah, I, I love comedy. I think, um, it's not really different to, to doing drama in a number of ways. I think this, if you make the stakes as high, it's, it's very much very, very similar, um, for me, but 
yeah, we get to commit to some pretty funny things in this movie. Not, <laughs> our stuff's great, but Chris is kind of a ridiculous character, and it was fun Bright really character. to <laughs> commit to him and show his his flaws and vulnerabilities. It was really fun. Was it just you bringing stuff out? I mean, I know like you just start singing share. Was was that an improv part or? Uh, that that I had some help there okay. with uh, from Richard, our director. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like that that me. wouldn't be the first one I would jump to sing if I was really improving. But um, he he kind of played it for me before a take, and I was like, okay, this is fun. I'll do it. I'm getting. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if Joey knew to be honest. Maybe she thinks that was an improv. When Joey is not riffing with Zach on screen, she's usually hanging out with Zara's bestie, Jeannie, played by Liza Koshy. Well, that was easy. We had like a previous panel that we did together way back years when, years Teen ago, Vogue. Like 2016 or something? No. No. I think it was 2018. Oh, really? Okay. I think it was. Just kidding. And then our mutual friend, Sabrina, brought us together. Mm -hmm. And then I my, I said this before, but my dog peed on her carpet. And so that's a bonding moment. So then to be on I know, it was there. lovely. I was yeah. honored. I mean, she, she, she was embarrassed. And I was like, for what? <laughs> I have sick. dogs. I have dogs and they they they, they, they defecate wherever the, right. the hell they want. <laughs> they chose that spot. And that yeah, means something. Yeah, and Phoebe chose that spot. And I was like, that's nice. You'll forever remember her there. That's nice. And then you did home reno and removed it entirely, right? Yes, I did. Okay. It's okay. nice. <laughs> But like first day on set, we had to take uh, photos together. Do you remember that? Yeah, we had to take like bestie photos. Together. You took Ooh. your shirt and put it over me. Yeah, and, and we, we like were, were sharing a shirt, which that's a freaking sharing about like that. a womb. That's really funny. <laughs> and I was like, this is gonna be a. Breeze. I know it's always funny to me when you are playing best friends with someone, and the first day, which has happened to me before, where they like make you take a best friends photo shoot, and I understand why they do it because they need photos in the movie. Yeah, and like you, but like it is. I mean, we it's were so, so great already, which was nice. But like, that's a crazy thing to do with people that don't know each other. But we, were, <laughs> yeah. we were lucky to know each other. Thank God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Joel Courtney, our mutual friend too. And Joel's yeah, our mutual Joel's friend. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of mutuals. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like it's a fun, a fun bunch of people. And in case you didn't know, Zac Efron and Nicole Kidman have some impressive Hollywood titles under their belts. The amount of roles and the versatile characters that you have played over the course of your career is mind blowing. Absolutely. I am in awe. You have such a multitude of diverse characters. I, I think would... I've been lucky. I mean, I've always wanted to not be typecast. I'm, you know, a crazy, I'm crazy. <laughs> so, so there we go. We have it. It's, it's great to, to shoot for that, to try such different things and really to bring like a centered, I don't know, like relatable character in so many, so many different genres. It's just mind blowing. I'm so impressed by you and inspired by you. But you know what they say, once a wild cat, always a wild cat. Come on, Jack. Oh man. Build I, I can't, I think there's a lot of them I love to play again. I, um, uh, yeah, there's no. He's not gonna say high school no. music. <laughs> I mean, why not? Wild anything's, cat. Anything's. <laughs> no, I he mean, is. Really fun there we go. <laughs> I'd be down to do that again, sure. See, we really are all in this together. I'm calling Kenny Ortega. And for all the Practical Magic fans out there, guess what? Nicole Kidman just announced she's returning as Jillian Owens. She even dropped a few hints about the new project here. I think I'm always looking for what's new, but yeah. I don't mind coming back to something if the story warrants being told. That's the right. So the right. idea of yeah. coming back to a character just for the sake of coming back to it, that's difficult because it's so kismet. You know, when you do something and when it actually works, that's kismet, um, that you can't control any of that. That's sort of like mm, some fairy dust gets sprinkled in some way. So therefore, if the story warrants it or is there is something that right. can move it forward, then that's great. But I'm also always trying to go, and I suppose that's why I have had such a crazy array of characters to play. I've been, will I'm willing to travel anywhere and try anything. Right. And that's always been my credo, so I'm like, Let's go. And I've been like that since I started working at 14. Absolutely. So I'm, I want to be able to, I'm very, very curious. <laughs> so, and yeah. I've never wanted to be defined, which is kind of just my willful nature anyway. A Family Affair will stream on Netflix on June 28th. And for more queer news, follow us at Pride.